Okay, YouTubers, this is the Angry Prepper. So this video is going to be another This Is Going To Be Harsh uh, video. And this is in regards to the whole uh, Putin lovers and, you know, United States hater or American haters, communists, uh, traitors, if you will. Uh, yeah, so this video is going to piss more people off, which I'm hoping for. And it's hopefully going to clarify a lot of shit as well. Because uh, putting up a couple things that I put up about... Uh, Putin recently or rather his moves that he's making and that's all I was talking about you still had assholes out there that are like I'm rooting for Putin listen that makes you a piece of shit in my book uh, because listen you want to root for the Russian people fine um, you are worried about what's happening to the Russian people okay I get it but when you start rooting for another tyrant that makes you a piece of shit bad enough we have a tyrant here Biden and we have tyrants in our U.S. government, you're going to vote for another tyrant who has, guys, in fact, been a tyrant, a tyrant his entire career or his existence, if you will. From KGB to president, he's been a tyrant. And it's been, it's been cataloged, guys, and not mainstream media. Because mainstream media, believe it or not, has been a lot quieter about Putin over the last few years. So I wondered about that. But if you follow his track record, guys, of the wars he's created since he's been in office, it's a giant tell. People want to bring up the 2014 Ukraine coup and that the Americans staged uh, Zelensky. Might be so, but if you look at what Putin said back in 2009 about wanting to get the Soviet Union back together, that was the start of it in 2009, not 2014. Guys, these are facts. I'm not making shit up. I'm not talking about deep state and all that other crazy shit, though the deep state argument, yes, I get it, but still, we're talking about actual facts. Now, Putin, guys, uh, he's not a very good dude. And his entire, his, during his entire career, sorry, he has put away people for speaking out against Russia, even when he was in the KGB. So with all of that being said, guys, how do you follow another tyrant when we're dealing with one here? They're both, not that they're both one and the same. I think Putin, I hate to say, is a little sharper than Biden. But guys... The United States government is bad. I'm not going to sit there and act like we are the end-all, nicest uh, government out there. We're not. But still, guys, this is our home. We worry about our home. We don't worry about what's going on in Ukraine. Fuck what's going on in Ukraine. I can care less about anything that's going on over there right now. I am annoyed with us, the United States, giving them money. I'm super annoyed about that bullshit. I'm not even annoyed, pissed, because that money we could be doing so much with here for the American people. But instead, our shitbag uh, governor, sorry, president, is giving that money to Ukraine. So that's my stance, guys. Fuck Ukraine as well. I can care less about what's going on there. Um, I should have said that in the beginning, or people were saying I should have said that in the beginning. People were saying I should have acknowledged the United States problems. If you haven't been watching all my videos, then uh, listen, that's on you. Because I've acknowledged that the United States government is not a fucking very good government. doesn't matter who the president is. Our government's pretty fucking sneaky. Our government is, is on the take with other uh, countries as well. And they have people like George Soros and them and the World Economic Forum backing them. We know this. I didn't think I had to say that as well to appease the idiots. But now that most of the idiots are gone, at least I hope so, um, I lost a, a good number of subscribers and I wouldn't even fucking give a shit if I lost half my subscribership because this country guys is still a great fucking country regardless of our fucking current government the fact that people complain about second amendment we still have second amendment rights in this country versus other countries that don't and we still have it better I don't know how many people right now as we speak have motherfuckers knocking on their doors taking their guns away yes they're trying yes they're doing surveys but they're not going to get it done, guys, because we are not going to allow for it. That's the thing about this country. Now, Russia right now is having a huge problem with protesting or riots, whatever you want to call them, because motherfuckers don't want to serve Putin. And that's what a couple of these kids said. They don't want to serve him. 
Maybe if it was another dude, they might go to war. I don't know. But they don't want to serve him. What does that say about fucking Putin himself? Right? These people don't want to serve. We have Americans that don't want to serve either. But nonetheless, guys, they're making it a fucking bigger issue. They're staging a fucking bigger issue there. So that's, again, that's proof in itself, guys. That uh, just the whole conflict, people don't want to get involved with. And I think that's the bigger picture. People don't want to get involved in this conflict. A lot of people, Americans and Russians, think it's both bullshit. Anyway, guys, with that, um, the pro-Putin supporters need to go off this channel. Enough already. You're going to fucking, you're, you're celebrating a tyrant when we have a tyrant here. That makes no sense to me. And people are like, fuck Joe Biden, I'd rather support Putin. So you're going to fuck one tyrant to support another tyrant. That makes no sense. Now, guys, Russia is our enemy. China is our enemy. Our own government at this point is our own enemy. And... And I'm sticking up for the people, guys. I'm not saying that the United States government is great or the Chinese government is great or the Russian. None of the governments currently serving in any administration on this planet is great or good. I think they are out to harm the people. There is a bigger picture that everybody's missing. But to turn around and say, fuck America, I'm pro-Putin, you're a fucking piece of shit. And you might as well go to fucking Russia. Matter of fact, because there's so many kids that don't want to fight for Putin or don't want to fight for Russia right now, why don't you take your ass over to Russia and fight for Russia if you feel so fucking uh, diehard about it? I am a diehard American. Not a black American, not an African American, a fucking American. And I will fucking die for this country fighting against the Chinese, the Russians, or the American government. I will die for this fucking country because that's where I stand. Listen, guys. This is my analogy. This building I live in, very, very shitty building. Very shitty plumbing, construction, you name it. Shitty fucking building. That does not mean I'm going to let homeless people and people from outside run rampant in this building. I fucking stood my ground, kicked out enough people and homeless people in this building, even though I hate this fucking building. But it's still mine and I still live here. You still live in this country. You should fucking give more respect to this country. And yes, we, guys... The freedoms we're losing right now, we are losing, are on a tilt. We didn't lose them completely. A lot of you are putting this false narrative that we lost it completely, that we lost the Second Amendment. No, we're losing it. We haven't lost it. We're losing our free speech. We haven't lost it. Because there's still avenues that we can go down to fight it until we have to fight it. Guys, this country is still great. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Can, can it be better? Absolutely. Everything could be better, right? Fucking, I mean, our lives can be better. But as of right now, we take it for what it is and what we have. And this is what we have, and I would rather live here than any other country around the world. I know when people are you know, telling us, I hate America so much, I'm going to move back to such and such. Then move. But these people never move. They stay here. Why? Because the freedoms are better. You have Russians that come here because they like the freedoms of the United States. Even though it's, you know, not as great as it used to be, people still come to this country, guys, in droves because life is better here. Not any the fuck where else. So, yes, there are other countries that people move to, like Spain or Italy or France. Those are nice countries as well. But when you have people from Russia coming here to stay here and live here because life is better, opportunities are better. You have, of course, the Mexicans or the South Americans and Central Americans flooding our borders because life is better here. Now, that being said, guys, again, I think a lot of the pro-Putin supporters, they're just pieces of shit, and they allowed themselves to be brainwashed by the Russian propaganda. Russian propaganda, guys, follows that closely of the German propaganda. The German propaganda is what Hitler used to get more people on board with his bullshit. The Russian propaganda is thick, and I can't believe it infected Americans to a point where Americans hate America but love fucking Russia, or more, they love Putin. They give Putin more respect. We started this bullshit with Obama, when people were like, fuck Obama, I support Putin. And at first, I didn't think anything of it. I was like, okay, whatever. Putin, you know, is, is probably a more sharper dude. But I'm like, no. Obama is our Negro. He was ours to fucking deal with. For us to turn around and shit on him to, to favor our enemy, that was some straight bullshit. And that's when I started seeing the signs of pro-Putin supporters. When Obama's in office. You hated a president so much, you'd rather love an enemy of the country. Putin, guys, if he wanted to, let's say he wanted to launch a couple weapons, you think he's going to be like, I hope I don't hit any of my Putin supporters. I hope my, my supporters, I hope they don't die over there. He doesn't give a fuck. He hates America and Americans just 
the same. He always has, he always will. He's actually said it years ago in an interview that he wasn't fond of America and Americans. I'm pretty sure you can still find this video. So guys, my point is, you're gonna love a guy who hates you that makes you a complete fucking idiot. And if you don't like fucking America and you are unpatriotic, unsubscribe. Now, with that being said, guys, there is a deeper thing going on, or deeper issue going on, that's pitting us against one another. And I do see it. I do subscribe to it. But I'm not subscribing to people who hate the United States and love another country that hates this country. That is just stupid to me. But there is a bigger issue. The World Economic Forum, guys, Russia is not fighting deep state. They are forming their own deep state. You guys are not paying attention to what Russia and Chinese are doing. They are doing this shit together. As my mother Sparks puts it, the Russians are doing the dirty work of the Chinese. And when the Russians are beat up and tapped out, China's going to step in with their bullshit. They are working against the World Economic Forum for their World Economic Forum style, um, lifestyle, if you will, or plan, sorry. They have their plan, World Economic Forum has theirs, and they're butting heads right now. That's all it is, guys. He's not fighting deep state. Russia has human trafficking in their country. Russia has laundering and neo-Nazis in their country. If you idiots do some research, you would see that. The neo-Nazi battalion, Russians have. Actually, a couple of countries have neo-Nazi battalions in different countries around Europe. So it's not just Ukraine. It's out there, guys. You got to fucking do something called research. Stop fucking hitting the same talking points of some idiot fucking YouTuber. Enough already. Now, guys, Russians to this day, or Russia to this day, throws people in jail for free speech. There was a famous uh, rock group. They were thrown in jail for singing a song that went against Russian standards. Uh, there was an adversary of Putin's that was running for presidency, and Putin threw him in jail a couple of times, actually. So again, guys, the, the track record is there. And a lot of people end up in jail uh, in Russia for speaking their mind. We don't hear about it because the media doesn't give a fuck. But if you, again, if you go on RT, RT News, you can still get it in certain places. You'll look up certain things that they've done and they try to blame the person for throwing them in jail, which is, again, very interesting. Sort of like what's going on here. But nonetheless, guys, uh, the Democrats, the way they're running this country, and the Russians, the way they're running the country, are on par with one another, and yet you guys are siding with Russia. Completely fucking mind-blowing to me. Some of you guys also bring up something interesting. You go, look at all the war atrocities that uh, America has done over the years. I'm like, hold your horses, dick face. United States, all the conflicts counted for, have 107 conflicts and wars during its inception. From the beginning of the United States to current to now. And Russia, since they were called the Kiev, Kievan Rus, Rus, if I said that right, they have till now 174 conflicts they beat us out guys by 70 conflicts russia has conflicts in different countries they even had one with japan which i was su super surprised about so again guys russia is ab absolutely the world's bully but the media even our media will have you believe that our warmongering country our, our, our war for profit country is the bully of the world if Russia has 174 wars and conflicts and we only have 107, there's a problem. That means somebody is beating us at the bullying game. Russia. Now, some of you are going to be like, but that's not all 107. Yes, the United States probably has some other conflicts that they were involved in, that they pushed with. I even added those in there and it still came out to 107. Right? So if you do the math, if you did the math, I think it's like 105 or 103 uh, conflicts and wars that the United States have been in since its inception of the United States. But you also got to account for some of the things that, that, that not that I heard, but I read about. It. And I'm like, all right, that could be a possibility. So I even threw that in there and it's still 107. Russia, with 174 wars and conflicts, there's without a doubt they have some secret ones that are in there as well, some things that they were put, they were involved in. And a lot of those conflicts were on there their soil, if you will, their land, but a lot of the conflicts were also with other countries that they had no business being in. So again, guys, who is the bully of the world? Not the United States, Russia, right? They have a bigger count, a way bigger count. China falls, I think, third to us or fourth to us, actually, uh, to not to us, but to the whole war conflict shit in, in the world. Again, guys, these are facts. You can dispute them. You can sit there and go, well, you got that off of this website and that website. 
doesn't matter. The history books speak for themselves. So whether I got it off of Wikipedia, whether I got it off of Google, again, Russia beats out us by a long shot. Even if 20 of those conflicts were made up, we're talking about the Russian conflicts, that still puts them at 157 conflicts. Still more than the United States, guys. So again, with that being, and I know some of you military guys are going to be like, well, I remember being in this and that conflict. All right, so you add a couple more. We still don't even come close to Russia. My point is, guys, stop being a fucking Putin lover. Don't fucking support Ukraine. That's for fucking sure. And the United States government, they can go fuck themselves. But I, I hope this clears up a lot of shit. I'm not for the Ukraine. I'm definitely not for Russia. And I'm definitely not for the United States government. I am for the United States people and, let, and having this country survive whatever is coming to us. Because whatever's coming this way, guys, we have to band together. And banding with a fucking country on the other side of the world is stupid. Because if, hypothetically speaking, the Russians were to attack with the Chinese here, do you think the Russians and the Chinese are going to give a shit if you're a Putin supporter? I love Putin waving the Putin flag. They're going to fucking kill you or throw you in jail just the same. Or camp at that point. Just the same, guys. So grow the fuck up. Stand by your fucking country. And if you don't, leave, go to Russia, and fight their war for them. Other than that, angry prepper out.